Hi guys, welcome back to Style Me Up with Sakshi. Today I'm here with another back to school video. Today's video is back to school fashion essentials. First, slip-ons. Let's be clear and let's be frank to each other and just be like, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Ain't nobody got the time or the patience to get them laces tied up and get those shoes in this much amount of heat. Ain't nobody gonna wear those boots. Ain't nobody gonna wear those very complicated strappy sandals or shoes. You're just gonna need those slip-ons when you're getting late and you wanna rush out of the house like a cheetah. You would want those slip-ons. Second, comfortable pair of leggings slash jeggings. In college, ain't nobody gonna wear those tight-fitting jeans to college because first of all, they don't let you breathe. They're not comfortable. They're so sticky and so like skin fit that you're not going to be able to stretch in college and you would want to stretch in college so these jeans no you're not going to wear them you shouldn't wear them you shouldn't wear jeans get your hands on a comfortable pair of leggings and jeggings third indian wear trust me guys every girl if not every 90 percent girls in college have their indian wear face because let's be honest here we go to Sarojini Nagar or any other street shopping place that we have in our city and we would go there and we would just buy those junk jewelry and we would just like Hey bhaiya, ye kitte ka hai, sir, ka. oh my god, I'm getting jewelry, like such nice jewelry for 100 rupees So I'm gonna pick them up, I'm gonna try them on They would look so damn pretty at that moment of time and you would just like be tempted to buy them because of course they're like 50 bucks, 30 bucks, 100 bucks and you would just like spend your money on them You're gonna get those junk jewelry Now you've got your junk jewelry or your on jhumkas and you would just think to yourself why would I wear those jhumkas with a shirt you know what I'm saying so you're gonna go to your local shop or market or mall or whatever that you're into and you go there and you would look for a kurti so every girl would have that Indian wear face Indian wear makes you look pretty that's for sure embrace your culture Embrace that you're an Indian. Really, nigga? And wear Indian clothes. And start wearing them before anyone does so that you can be a trendsetter. Fourth, accessories. Get your hands on those scarves, those minimalistic jewelry, because in your first year, you're gonna pay so much attention because of course you're a fresher. But from that fresher phase, you're gonna come into that second year and your third year phase, and things are about to change. My dear, things are about to change when that happens. You are not going to pay that much attention on your clothing items because let's be real, even if you have to leave at 8.30 from your house, you're gonna get up at 8.15. You're gonna wake up at 8. Like your alarm clock tells you, you're gonna wake up at 8, but you're gonna convince yourself. Somehow you will convince yourself that you can get ready in 15 minutes. So you're going to sleep for another 15 minutes so that you can pressurize yourself for those 15 minutes. And please tell me, how can people get ready, poop, brush, take a bath and get ready in 15 minutes? That's impossible. You can't do that. Nobody can do that. So don't live by that. Need those accessories. You know why? Because you're gonna stand in front of your Almira. By the way, my Almira is there. So you're gonna stand in front of your Almira and you're gonna look at all the clothes. And you're gonna be really stressed and you're just gonna pick out any t-shirt and jeggings and then you're just gonna look at yourself in the mirror and you would just look like an, any other normal person. You don't wanna look like any other normal person. So you're gonna go to your dresser and you're gonna pick out some jewelry that you bought the other day and then look fancy. Fifth, start deciding what you're going to wear the next day, the night before. I know it seems a little hard and probably impractical to most of you, but if you get into that routine of deciding what you're going to wear the next day, trust me, your life will become a hundred times simpler. I used to do that every single day. If not every single day, most days to college for three years and I still do that. I still do that for every event that I have to go to. Trust me, once you get into the flow of deciding what you're going to wear the next day, the night before, your life is going to be a hundred times simpler because let me say that out of experience. When I didn't decide what I'm going to wear the next day, I would stand in front of my Almira in the morning and just look at 100 clothes. I have three Almiras by the way. And I would just look at each one of them and think to myself, Sakshi, I don't have anything to wear. I don't have anything to wear. I would have 100 clothes in front of me. I won't have anything to wear because I am on the time constraint of 10 minutes that I need to get ready. So in that 10 minutes, I can't afford to stand in front of my Almira and pick out an outfit. So 
save yourself some time and save yourself some energy and decide what you're going to wear the next day the night before so that is it for my video i hope that you guys enjoyed watching it if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for dear you need to subscribe to my channel it's down below down down below down and also give this video an old like because well i would like that and more people will be able to see so you got to share the video also and comment down below your fashion essentials because i would want to know and my family and my community of style me up with sakshi would want to know what are your fashion essentials so share your fashion essentials with them leave it in the comment section below and i will see you very soon i hope this video helped you a lot i love you guys